In Clemson, South Carolina, the memories of last year's national championship are still fresh. But since 1950, only one team, Oklahoma, has been able to do a number one encore in both polls. The Clemson Tigers were only the second Atlantic Coast Conference team in history to win the national title. But it is unlikely that this Cinderella team will make it past the midnight hour again. Eleven starters are gone, including 80% of the offensive line. Even though the 82 schedule is fairly easy, the Tigers will find that, like Rodney Dangerfield, they still can't get no respect. There's a song that I know Bud Wilkinson remembers, and I do. Oh, no, they can't take that away from me. And oh, no, they cannot take away the national championship from Clemson. Talks of probation. And in the ACC, Bud, they're even saying that not only will Clemson not be number one in the nation again, but maybe not number one in the ACC with North Carolina sitting right there. Uh, everyone, I think, feels very comfortable that that's a prediction that's going to come true, Jim. Uh, Clemson had a remarkable year last year. Uh, they lose too many people. Uh, their offensive line, with one exception, is gone. They do return all of their backs, though, so they will be a very good offensive team if their line can learn to function, but that takes a little cohesion. The hardest thing to coach, so well, they got a tough row. <laughs> Let us go to the heart of the matter, to the mouth of the folks down there in Death Valley. J.D. Hayworth is our ESPN reporter. Let's go down and have their look in on the defending national champion. It would be difficult to consider a national championship a mixed blessing by any stretch of the imagination, yet that is exactly what it is, because after winning the national crown, a team must try to successfully defend it. And that is exactly the situation in which Coach Danny Ford and the Clemson Tigers find themselves in 1982. 1981 was a dream come true for the team in Orange, an undefeated season, fittingly capped off with a win over Nebraska in the Orange Bowl. But those postseason cheers have been replaced by a single preseason question. Can Clemson do it again? We know we've got to be better. Uh, we know we have to have people to, to play better than they played last year that were starters. You know, we know that our quarterback's got to be better, our back's got to be better, and, our, and the guys that are playing for the first time, they've got to be better than, they, than the guys that they were substitutes for last year. In the quest to make his team better, Ford has tried to eliminate outside distractions. For example, our cameras were invited to leave this practice session as soon as calisthenics ended. When the Orange Bowl ended New Year's night, so did the careers of six starters on the offensive unit. Gone are receivers Perry Tuttle and Jerry Gilliard. But the hardest hit is the offensive line, where four of five starters have departed. Homer Jordan is back, having earned his stripes last season as one of the nation's top quarterbacks. Homer's a native of Athens, Georgia, so he's understandably looking forward to the season opener against the dogs down between the hedges. Two years ago, you know, after we lost down there, it took a lot of, a lot out of us. And uh, after we won last year, they kind of set the tempo for our season. And this year, it could be the same way. With Herschel Walker reportedly sidelined, you might think the Tiger game plan has changed, but that's just not the case. We're expecting to play, and um, somebody's asked before, well, you know, but it's got to change your whole game plan. It doesn't change any of our game plan. We don't, we don't prepare for one back or one. To, we prepare for an offense, and the, their offense may change a little bit, but they're going to do what Georgia does best. One of the things Clemson did best last year was play defense. Two of the seven starters returning there are Playboy All-America safety Terry Kennard and defensive tackle Dan Benish. You know, we're just gearing up for Georgia right now, and uh, if Herschel plays or if he doesn't, doesn't really mean any difference to us. If he plays, I, I hope he does, because I'd really like to challenge him a little bit. But the biggest challenge of the season will be for the Tigers to keep the national title. At Clemson University, J.D. Hayworth for ESPN.